Hi, Gary Schweikert, President BMW Club Queensland. Firstly, I'd like to thank the members, and especially the committee members, for making the last year so successful. Our membership at March 30 was 411, and this has remained similar over the past 12 months, during which time we have conducted 46 public events. And some of the most successful activities were our annual Happy Laps Regularity Charity Day at Lakeside. This was a combined event with other car clubs. This event showcased our club to sponsors, supporters, members and the public. It also introduced many members to motorsport and helped our local community. Very exciting day today. It's our uh, ICC Challenge Regularity uh, Breakfast and Happy Laps. The charities that we have supported in the last 12 months. Emerge Cafe Toowoomba, Payasac Forward and the Volunteer Marine Rescue Brisbane. These three charities have been recipients of funding from our club in the last 12 months. A total of $11,000 was distributed amongst those three organisations. And we also held events at two of their businesses to further support their operations. On the 4th of December 2021, we held our 30th anniversary gala dinner. In November 1991, BMW Club Queensland was incorporated. Although the club was formed back in early 1980s, we chose to celebrate the occasion with a very special dinner for 100 members and guests. We were able to gather many past presidents and compile video messages from various members of the BMW Club community worldwide to help us celebrate. It's a West here. Hi, it's Graham Miller. Happy 30th anniversary, Club Queensland. What a great achievement. Hello, BMW Club members in Australia. Hi, my name's Ian Branston. I'm coming to you from the Car Club of America's Museum. Hi, BMW Clubs Queensland. Um, I'm Eva. I'm the key account for the clubs in Australia. The highlight of the evening was the attendance at our dinner of the first Queensland BMW salesman, Horace Sirak, and his wife, who, in 1970, were tasked by the then Datsun dealer, Ira Burke, in setting up a showroom and selling BMWs for the first time in Queensland. And then we were back up at Mullaney again in 1976. These are all owners of BMWs that, yeah. that, that I sold to. Well, good evening everyone. Hello, hello. So, uh, welcome to uh, our first meeting for 2022. Electronic communication has been a highlight of these lockdown times, and we have been very successful in keeping people in touch with local webcasts of our club meetings. Ladies and gentlemen, Russell Thomas, Social Hi. Director Extraordinaire. Because of the massive size of Queensland, we have also instigated the use of Clubs Australia's Zoom licence in a country member's Zoom webinar. We've got a gentleman here from Kawara Beach, north of Cairns. So that's nearly 1,800 kilometres north. And uh, another couple from Port Macquarie, which is about you know, 500 kilometres south. At every opportunity that arises, we showcase our club at various high-profile car displays. In the last 12 months, we attended RACQ Motorfest, the David Hack Classic, and McLean's Bridge Car Show. As a major showcase to the public and members, we are proud of our website, and we are constantly updating it to service our members. At the moment, we are working on a complete history page, a sponsors page, a classified ad page, and a special interest vehicle information and events page. Also on our website is a complete library of our club e-magazine, The Beamer. Also on the website, using the built-in Wild Apricot Commerce function, is our new e-store for club merchandise, and it has been extremely successful, mainly due to the tireless work of our merchandising officer, Alex Irvine. We have made a conscious effort over the last two years to get people out of their cars and socialise. Hence, we have organised a number of events that are not typical of car clubs. For example, a whale watching tour, a barefoot bowls day and barbecue, a river cruise and lunch, and a free movie afternoon. These are apart from our normal drives, dinners, coffee meets, etc. We are fortunate to have a core of long-term support from our local BMW dealership sponsors and suppliers. And we take the opportunity whenever we can to put back to those relationships. 
For example, when Brisbane BMW wanted support with a classic BMW for a photo shoot to promote a new relationship they had developed with an exclusive motel, one of our members supplied his beautiful E24 635 JPS for the day. Good evening and welcome everyone, everyone, in uh, November, nearly the end of the year. Thank you very much for coming along tonight and good evening everyone out there in, uh, on Facebook. We try to help our sponsors with their businesses by raising their profile, by holding the occasional monthly meeting at their premises and also live stream that meeting to all membership. For those of you who may not know, Ludwig and uh, Nicola, are uh, uh, hosting us for the second time. Our current committee is about to enter its third year of operation and it has taken quite some time to come to grips with the operation of the club. And as with all clubs, we have had to navigate the recent two years of COVID operation and compliance. The result of our work are reflected in our expanding membership and our excellent attendance to all of our planned activities. Our committee have been constant and everyone has added to the success of our club. Finances are in a good state and we are constantly looking at methods of saving money on our administration and operation of the club, which then enables us to heavily subsidise entry fees for events and merchandise. As we are all emerging from the restrictions of the past two years, BMW Club Queensland seems to be heading for bigger and brighter times. The 2023 BMW Club's Australian Nationals on the Gold Coast will be one of them.